Facebook groups are one of the best ways to build an online community. And to help your audience and customers discover your Facebook group, you can display it directly on your WordPress website. That's why in this video, I'll show you how to display your Facebook group like this on your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. So if you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. To create a Facebook group feed for a WordPress website, we'll use the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. This plugin lets you create beautiful and customizable Facebook feeds for your WordPress website. To purchase the plugin, visit smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your account. Next, to install Facebook Feed Pro inside your WordPress dashboard, go hover over plugins on the left hand side and press Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin at the top. Now you can select and upload the zip file for Facebook Feed Pro and click Install Now. Then we can activate the plugin as well. And now our plugin has been installed. Before we create a Facebook group feed, let's activate our license key. Hover over Facebook feed on the left hand side and click on Settings. Here we can enter the license key that we copied earlier like this and click Activate. Now our license key is active and good to go. To create our Facebook group feed, head over to Facebook feed on the left hand side and click on All Feeds. Then at the top, click on Add New. For the first step, you can select the Facebook feed type. You can create a feed from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, you can display all the albums from a Facebook page, and so much more. For this video, let's go with the timeline option and click on Next. Now you will have to select the source for your Facebook feed. Click on Add New. And on this page, let's select Group as a source type, like this, and click on the blue Connect to Facebook button. This will take you into Facebook and it will ask you for view only access to your Facebook account. The plugin will only view the information it needs and will not be able to make any changes to your Facebook account. So select Continue like this and press Continue here as well. You will now see all the Facebook groups connected to your account on this page. Here it will ask you to select the Facebook group that you want to display on your feed. I'm going to select this one right here and click on Next. Now the admin of the Facebook group has to add the Smash Balloon Facebook app within the group settings. Here are some instructions on how to do that right here. First, you have to go to your group settings page by clicking here. Then we'll have to search for Smash Balloon WordPress. We want this one right here so we can go and click on Add. And now we're all set, so back in our WordPress dashboard, we can go and click on Done. And we can now see that Facebook group right here, so we can select it like this and click on Next. Here it's asking us to select the template of how we want our Facebook group feed to look. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, and more. Select the one you like the most and click on Next. And right here, you can see a beautiful preview of our brand new Facebook group feed. It's got all the latest posts from our Facebook group displayed beautifully in this feed. Before we go and embed this onto a WordPress web page, let me show you how we can customize it. Under the Customize tab, if you go into Feed Layout, you can customize the layout of your Facebook group feed. You have options like the list layout by default, which displays all your posts in a single column list like this, or the masonry layout, which shows all the posts in their default sizes like this, and the carousel layout like this. Select the one you like the most and click on Save on the top right corner. And if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook group feed, click on Color Scheme over here. Here you have several different options to modify the colors for your feed, like inheriting them from the theme, a light theme, a dark theme like this, or if you want full control of the colors of your feed, you can click on Custom and select the exact color you want for your Facebook group feed. Select the ones you like the most, and if you make any changes, don't forget to hit Save on the top right corner. Our plugin also lets you modify the header area of this Facebook feed. Simply go into header on the left hand side. You can choose either the visual layout like this with a profile picture for the group and the cover photo up here, or you can go with a simpler text design like this as well. And for each header style, you can modify it even further with options below as well. Once again, if you're happy with the changes, go and hit save on the top right corner. And once you're happy with your Facebook group feed, we can go and embed it onto our WordPress web page. Go and click on embed on the top right corner. And here it will show you a dedicated shortcode for your Facebook feed. Simply copy it like this and click on add to a page. Here you can select the page that you want to add your Facebook group feed to. I'm going to choose this one here and click on Add. And now we have two different options to embed our Facebook group feed. You can either paste the shortcode we copied earlier like this into a shortcode block, or if you're using Gutenberg, you can use a custom Facebook feed block like this. And as you can see, we have our Facebook group feed right here within our page. Let's publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here on our live web page, we now have our beautiful Facebook group feed right in the middle. You can see all the latest posts from our Facebook group, including text posts, photos, and underneath each post, you can even see the likes, shares, and comments as well. We can even press load more to load even more posts from our Facebook group like this. Alternatively, if you want to feature your Facebook group feed in the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Just like before, we can go and click on embed. And instead of clicking add to a page down here, we can go and click on add to a widget. 
and this brings us into our WordPress widgets menu. In this example, let's add our Facebook group feed to the main sidebar. To do this, we have the same two options as we did before. And we can either paste the shortcode or we can use the custom Facebook feed block like this. And it's as easy as that. We have the Facebook group feed right here inside the sidebar. Once you're happy with it, let's publish it and check out what it looks like on the front end. Here we are back on our live web page, and right in the middle, we have the Facebook group feed that we created earlier. But you now notice on the left hand side, we have a beautiful Facebook group feed as a widget in the sidebar as well. So we've successfully created a Facebook group feed for both our web page and as a widget on the sidebar as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any technical issues, feel free to reach out to our amazing support team. They'd be happy to help you out. If you want to check out Facebook Feed Pro, you can visit smashballoon.com. I've included links for it in the description of this video, along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.